Time for meteorologist Rod Hill. Rod, we've been talking about a lot going on today. Yes, and let's, uh, since you brought up Christmas, let me say that uh, potentially there could be a snow mix at Timberline today with the snow level getting down near 6,000 feet at times. All right, now back to the main headlines. This is going to be a very rainy, at times windy, all out blustery October day, we think. With that said, as I read this, heavy rain times, gusty winds in the valley, 30 to 40 miles prior from the south. Possible thunderstorms mainly this afternoon and hail. Valley rain totals just today, tonight into tomorrow. Looks like they will be an inch and greater than that. Now, with that said, we are expected to stay below criteria for any watches or warnings or advisories, but uh, this is going to be a difficult day times to be out and about no matter what you are doing, just uh, recreating, walking, working, big low offshore. You can see the active rain pushing inland. There's a front that comes in this afternoon, then that big low I just showed you starts to work toward us tomorrow and just keeps the rain machine going. So right now, one of our first inland rain heavy pockets showing up in yellow and the orange colors between Tillamook and just getting ready to move into Salem. This will absolutely move through the heart of Salem in the next half hour or so. You can see the heavy rain. There could be some thunder, uh, not thunder, but hail even embedded in some of that. So you folks getting uh, the first absolute downpour of the day, if you will. Temperatures won't do much today because about the time they start to warm up, heavy rain pockets will move in and knock everything back down. Currently 57 in Portland, 54 in Salem, 53 in the Dalles. It's currently dry and near freezing and burns. But I will tell you every single city on that map has rain in the forecast today. Here's a look at the way Futurecast shows at 830 this morning, showing heavy rain pockets down in the mid valley around Salem. At noon, it's more scattered, but look at that possible hail, maybe some thunder and lightning between Tillamook and Astoria. And then all the bright colors, big time downpours, hail, Maybe rumbles of thunder at 430 continues this evening, continues overnight, continues into tomorrow morning. Then eventually tomorrow afternoon, everything will finally start to quiet down and move out of our area. Here's the wide future cast just showing scattered rain areas statewide. This is impressive. Take a look at this. 1.60 inches of rain in Portland from right now through the day tomorrow. For areas to get hit with several downpours, that's absolutely a possibility and more than two inches expected over at the coast. So here are the numbers for today. 50s to about 61 at the beach. Could be some southwest wind gusts in the headlands and along the uh, beach areas of 45 miles per hour. And again, you folks at the coast also with that possibility of thunder, lightning, hail. For the valley, gusty winds, 30 to 40 in exposed south wind areas potentially. Temperatures low 60s at best. Again, thunder and hail, the thunder and lightning possibilities start around midday. And here's that map that shows everybody with developing rain at times. Temperatures a mix of 50s and 60s. This calms down tomorrow afternoon. We still have Thursday being dry, sun getting us up into the 70s. Friday dry during the day, and then evening rain. Starting to look more likely the Saturday will be overcast, and if that's the case, we would not be able to see the solar eclipse.